All right, I'm gonna make a little video today on some head repair. This is an overhead valve head for a 20 horsepower Briggs engine. And uh, the thing was burning a ton of oil. And what we discovered here, in addition to some other problems, were that this valve guide was way worn out. Now normally the clearance between this valve guide and the um, the valve stem is anywhere specified between eight ten thousandths and one point two thousandths. This one was almost nine thousandths. So the valve was just flopping around in there. Now unfortunately they do not make this piece. They don't sell this piece. This is a hardened bushing which I just finished pushing out on my press. Um, so what I'm gonna do is make another one of these uh, and hopefully I can keep the tolerances good. I, I do have a substantial collection of reamers here so I'm sure I can find one that's going to uh, be the right size for this valve um, and what I have here is a piece of 1045 um, it's a shock rod it's a, it's a rod that I I salvaged off of a shock absorber so we're gonna turn it out of that and then we're gonna harden it as good as we can so, um, yep, we'll just chuck it up in the lathe over here and start cutting. And hopefully we'll be able to press this back in and uh, everything will be good. So stay tuned. This, um, to buy this head uh, would cost about 140 bucks. So it's uh, well worth trying to save it. All right, I've got this uh, piece of rod chucked up here, and um, I have to take off seven and a half thousandths. So we're going to do that in probably two or three passes, just so that we can really get it right down there. Because since this is like pressing into a head, we have to be very precise here. I've got a dead center. Uh, which is about as rigid as things get and uh, let's just go for it there's five thousand Very nice finish.
Okay, so we have take off try that. too fat so I'm gonna to try to file this and uh, sneak up on it That's it. Perfect. All right. So that's the OD. All right. I looked through my Reamer collection here, and <laughs> believe it or not, I found one that was pretty damn close. Um, it's a thousandth of an inch oversize. From what this valve stem mics out to this valve stem mics out to two thirty four and this is a metric reamer that mics or that calculates out based on what's written on the side of it to two thirty five so what I'm going to do here is a little experiment. I am going to drill a hole in this thing that's a couple of thousands shy of this. And then what I'm going to do is heat it up. And that should make the hole a little bigger when I run this reamer through there. And then when it cools down, it's going to shrink. Because what I'm really shooting for here is eight ten thousandths over. 234. We'll see how it goes. If it works, it works. If not, what are you going to do, right? All right, so hang on and I'm going to drill a hole in here uh, and then uh, we'll put the chucking reamer in and heat this thing up and see if we can uh, do a little fudging on the size. Okay, I got a number one drill in here, which is 228, and we're going to see if we can drill this hole a little bit. Tell you, this stuff is hard.
got to go a little farther. That should be plenty. So, um, what I'm going to do next is uh, get my little propane torch and just heat this up a little bit and uh, run the checking reamer in here. And uh, when it cools off, hopefully it'll shrink about a half a thou. I'm not going to, I'm not going to crank uh, this thing till it's red hot or anything. I'm just going to put some heat in it. See if we can play a little metal expansion game here. So hang on, let me get that going. Here's my metric reamer, which is going to be close here. Yep. All right. Fun and games, hang on. Alright, so here we go here. We're gonna put about 150 on the uh, on the RPM here. Maybe even slower than that. And we just got a regular propane torch here. How this works out. I've never done this before, but metal does expand when you do this, so I'll run this a little slower. that cool down and get some misery stuff going here. Yep, I'd say that's about 200, maybe a little more than that. So we'll see what happens. This, uh, this piece of metal came from, uh, believe it or not, a shock absorber. say that that is pretty good and if it shrinks up it's gonna be awesome yeah it's pretty cool down now all right um, put a little chamfer on it and then we'll cut it off
Okay. Cutting this thing off is going to be an adventure. Um, I might do it with the grinder. Just cut it a little long and face it off because uh, I don't think high speed steel will cut this. I tried before and it wouldn't do it. So, uh, you know, let me get this uh, out of here and I'll cut it off. Shock rod. Shock absorber from my truck. Alright, hang on. Alright, here we go. One finished valve guide. press this into the head now there's the old one there's the new one so uh, there's no discernible play in that whatsoever I'm going to get the whole gauge out and measure it anyway, just for yucks, but uh, it is what it is, and there it is right there. Okay, well, I got it pressed in there, and uh, I can't feel any play in here at all. Uh, I mic'd it out with the whole gauge, and uh, it's about half a thousandth bigger than the valve, so worked out pretty good. It, when I pushed it in here, it, when I pressed it into this uh, head, it shrunk down a couple of tenths. So, looks like that worked out. So, I'm going to wrap this valve in here just to make sure that, you know, it's, uh, it's in there right. And then uh, I'm going to rebuild this head. And then uh, that engine should run again. So, there you go. It's a little... Uh, Metal work and trickery for you if you if you gotta fudge a hole a couple of tenths. That's how you do it. Heat it up when you're reaming it. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna lap this uh, exhaust valve in here, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh, gonna be close. So I'm just gonna start off with the fine, and you know if we have to go back up to the course, we will. So I'm just gonna. Put a little bit of this on the edge of the valve, right on the face. And uh, since this thing, this head's off the engine, I can uh, do it from the back side. So I don't have to use one of those suction cup things. And I'm just going to hook my drill check up to it off the lathe. And this will allow me to So what I'm kind of looking for here is to make sure that this thing is, uh, you know, seating in there properly. And uh, it looks like it is. So yeah, we'll just uh, continue with this and uh, wrap this valve in. And then uh, I'll probably do the intake just for yucks. And what I'm doing is I'm I'm pulling back on this chuck to 
you know, seat the valve in as I'm turning it. Let it up and rotate it a little bit to get the compounds to spread out. Alright, so let's see how that. Let me get a rag here. Okay, I'll try to get you to be able to see this. Focus. You can see that that's all nice and shiny, right? And a nice concentric ring right on the middle of the face of that valve. So this is lapped in good. Clean this out. You don't want to leave any of this valve grinding compound in the engine at all or it will grind up the engine so there we go in this face it looks perfect all right I think this head is repaired so Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna do the uh, the intake one off camera, and then uh, put this head together. We'll get it back on the engine. Okay. All right, we're getting ready to put this head back together, and we're gonna use this assembly lube again. Make sure everything's all gooped up nice for when it first starts before the oil gets pumped up. Boy, that's a nice fit in there. Okay, the intake valve. Okay, get our valve spring compressor all hooked on here. Get these babies in the groove. Yeah. 
and right side up. Come on, Joe. Blade in. Put a little red Loctite on. Keep his baby in there. Put some on this one too. Okay, put the right arms on. to the engine. Alright. Not bad. Not a bad little project. Okay, so we'll uh, get some gaskets going here and put this engine back together. Let's see if this thing is going to run. Everything's back together. Got oil in it, got gas in it. Let's see what happens here. inside because it's raining out. Um, I don't want to gas myself here so I'll uh, get it over by the door there and uh, get it going. Thanks for watching. <laughs>